Hey everybody, what's up, how's it going, Robin here, and welcome to my dividend investing case study. In this video series, I'm going to be taking a brand new dividend investing account and growing it from zero dollars all the way to six figures. The purpose of this video is to learn about dividend investing as I have yet to make a very like 100% specific dividend investing based portfolio. So that's what I'm gonna be doing here. It's also to show you guys how easy it is to get into investing no matter who you are and show you guys the value of investing all along the way. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is every single week I'll be posting a update on the channel and I'm gonna be probably putting about $100 a week into this portfolio. Now you guys can put whatever you want, but I chose $100 because $100 a week is pretty affordable, it's pretty easy, um, it's gonna be about $400 a month, and by doing that, we can actually get to our goal. Now over time, I might increase this amount, but realistically, you guys can put whatever you want. You know, if you can only afford to put 10 bucks a week, uh, that's fine, you know, if, if you can do more than 100, that's cool as well. Uh, um, I just wanna show you guys that you don't need to have a ton of money, and regardless of your income, you can actually make some money with dividend investing. So if you guys want to keep updated and see all these updates as I go through these video series, again, I'm going to be publishing them about one video a week to kind of give you guys an update. I'll be going through the different stocks and ETFs I'll be buying and whatnot. Um, if you guys don't want to miss that, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you guys can see these updates as I go through them. And last but not least, the platform I'm going to be using to um, connect this whole kind of dividend case study is Wealth Simple Trade. Now, you guys can use whatever you guys want. I know uh, Robinhood investing is pretty popular, uh, but I'm going to go with Wealth Simple Trade because it's zero dollar um, commission. So basically, when you buy stocks or ETFs, you don't have to pay a fee. Um, so I advise you guys to try to find some kind of platform that allows you to do the same thing. But that's what we're going to be doing in this uh, case study. So um, that's it for now. Let's jump into video and let's take a look at Wealth Simple Trade. All right, guys, here. So I am in my Wealth Simple Trade account. Once again, I want to point out that Wealth Simple Trade is a mobile app. So I'm actually using BlueStacks on my computer to create a Android emulator. And I'm basically just recording my screen. This is a cool way to work around, like if you um, prefer to use a desktop or you don't have a phone or kind of thing, or you want to just run apps on your computer kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to record this like this. I know it doesn't look the best in the screen. You know, we got this little phone square little box for our screen. Just pretend this is our phone in the middle here. And I know it's not the best setup. But for now, this is the only way I can think about doing this. And maybe in the future, um, we'll find a better way to do this. But uh, this is the only way I can think about it for now. So this is how we're going to roll. Um, so this is inside Wealth Simple Trade. Um, this is the main account here. As you guys can see here, I have $100 um, Canadian. We're going to be using Canadian. You can use whatever you know currency you guys want. Uh, but I got $100 here. Um, cool thing about Wealth Simple Trade is you can search stocks, you can buy stocks. And, and like I said, there's a lot of different platforms you can use. You can use Robinhood Investing. Uh, there, there's all kinds of different ones. And by the way, um, before we go any further, um, if you guys do want to follow along, and I, I strongly suggest you guys start doing this, even if even if you're in a position where you don't think you can save money, you know, put 5 bucks away, put 10 bucks away, put 20 bucks away a week, and start stashing that into it. Um, some type of investing portfolio. Uh, we're going to be doing a dividend investing portfolio and focus on dividend stocks because I haven't done that yet before, like 100%. Um, and I think this is a cool way to invest. In, and for a lot of people, it's cool. Dividend investing is super cool because you get money all the time, right? It feels good, right? Um, so be before we go any further, I'll put a link in the description of this video. If you guys sign up with Wolf Simple Trade, um, I think and you put in like a hundred bucks in your account or something like that, I think they give you like five bucks for you to spend on stocks. And I think they also give me five bucks as well. Not too sure about that. I can't remember what the rules are, but I'll put a link in the description of this video and you guys can check that out. Um, and you guys can get some extra money to spend on stocks if you want. And it also helps support the channel and uh, this video series that I'm doing. Um, so yeah, check that out if you guys want. Um, so let's go in here. Um, so this is the actual app here. Um, so we can find different stocks. We can discover stocks. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys too much how to use this app. Because I'm actually going to make a well simple trade review type video uh, in the near future where I'll kind of go over the different app and the different things you can do and stuff like that. Um, in this video, we're going to make it really simple. So all I did here is I created an account, I downloaded the app, I set up an account, and I put money into my account. It took about two days for it to get there, one to two days. Well, simple is generally pretty quick. Um, so we can go find stocks here, and you can search for stocks all over the place. And this is the thing you need to be really careful when you start investing. As you guys can see here, there's technology, there's Apple, Tesla, Beyond Meat. Apparently, that's a popular one now. Agriculture, you know, advertising marketing. There's Facebook right there. Um, Apple again, you know, Microsoft. There's all kinds of different stocks. Now, here's the thing. 
For this portfolio, I'm not going to focus on individual stocks. We're actually going to be focusing on ETFs for the most part. And the reason why is because ETFs are a collection of stocks in a usually sometimes in a certain sector, but it can be just a general mix. Um, we're going to be focusing on dividend-based ETFs, and we're going to maybe pick a few stocks here and there. But ETFs are really cool because when you buy an ETF, so let's say an ETF share price is like 50 bucks or 100 bucks, when you buy like that one share, you're buying a share of multiple stocks. So it could be anywhere between like 50 or 100 or 500 or 1,000 different companies. So, you know, as, you know, the stock market generally over time um, will go up in value eventually kind of thing. You know, like if we, if we draw a line from the beginning of the stock market today, it's always going up in value. So that the cool thing about this investing strategy is over time, all these companies will slowly grow kind of thing, right? So you're not at a risk of like your stock just tanking one day and then never recovering kind of thing. If one stock tanks, it doesn't really matter because you got hundreds and thousands of other stocks to kind of balance things out, right? Um, and, and and earlier on this year, actually, I'll link to the video as well in the description this video. There's a link to my um, stock portfolio for 2019, my overall stock portfolio, and my returns. I picked all ETFs and I've done quite well. And I think it's the best way to get started for beginners. Um, so you can look up some different ETFs and stuff like that. Um, the one I found was we're going to go with the first one we're going to invest is the Vanguard um, High Dividend Yield. Um, this is, you know, Vanguard funds are a great place to start. Um, so you can just type them into Google. I just typed VYM or Vanguard High Dividend Fund, and this is one of the first one that popped up. We're going to check it out really quickly here and take a peek and see what it's about. So this is a Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. Biggest things to look out for is you want to look at what the actual um, growth is over time. Um, so you can see like one year is 5%, three years 10, five years 9%, 10 years 12%, and since inception, which basically means if you took an average per year, starting in 2006 to today's date with this 2019, almost 2020, um, you'd be looking at a 7% or 8%, I guess we'll round it off to 8%. Uh, yearly growth, which in my opinion, especially for a dividend stock, is pretty solid. Um, so this one is pretty attractive. You know, the main thing you want to keep an eye on is look out for the long term, kind of see how things are going, and you can, that's how you can gauge whether this is probably worth investing in kind of thing. And again, you can see the growth here that over time, this fund is basically just kept going up, which is good. You know, that's, that's what you want to look for kind of thing. And um, there's some different things here, so you can see the makeup of basic materials, consumer goods, um, consumer services. So there's a wide variety of different things in this ETF. And then you can see the actual different stock companies in here. So we have um, JP Morgan, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, um, AT&T, Intel, Verizons, um, Chevron, uh, Fargo, like all kinds of different. And you can Google search this to see all the different ones. Um, there should be a number here that actually tells us. Okay, here we number of stocks, 404. So if we buy this one ETF, we're instantly getting 404 stocks dividend stocks that are paying into our portfolio. Pretty solid. Like you can't really go wrong with that. And I highly recommend beginners that you follow this, at least in the beginning. And then maybe over time, we'll pick a few stocks, you know, that we like and stuff like that and pick small amounts of money to kind of like experiment with. But I kind of want to just go with ETFs for now, maybe build out a portfolio of like three to four ETFs kind of thing, maybe in different sectors, maybe do some foreign ones, maybe do some Canadian ones, maybe do some US ones kind of thing. This is a US based ETF. So we'll, we'll kind of getting the US stuff out first. And then maybe over time, we can pick a few here and there and just kind of like do small amounts and see how they go. So here we're going to go into uh, what was it called? VY was a VYM VYM here. So all we have to do is go into well, simple trade here type VYM. And you'll see that it pops up here. So we have two v VYMI is a Vanguard International High Dividend Yield. Oh, we have to look after that one. So that's like an international one. We can check that one out too, maybe later. But we want this one, so I'm going to click on this guy here. And once again, Wells Fargo Trade kind of gives us some, you know, you can go five-year history. And again, you can see this fund has done pretty solid uh, for a dividend fund. It gives you some stats and stuff like that, some really helpful ones, actually. So you can see the yield is 3.32% per year, I think, right, per year. Oh, also, one thing we want to look at before we go into is, like, the distributions. So you go to distributions. This one probably trades quarterly. Yep. We can see here that it trades every three months we get our dividend. I mean, not trades. It get, pays out dividends every three months. So 
um, June, you know, every quarter, every three months kind of thing. So this one we get every quarter. I'm going to try and mix it up and get some monthly ones and some quarterly ones so we can do some updates and you guys can see the different things coming in um, and, and kind of stuff like that. But this one does get dividends every quarter. So we got to wait three months to get our dividends kind of thing. But it gets, it has a much bigger yield. So you see this at 0.7 per share. Um, you could just divide that by three and you would get your monthly dividend, which would be like 0.3 or something. No, 0 0.2, 246. Yeah, it'd be two point something or other, right? My math is good, which it usually isn't. So you get 0 0.2 per share per month kind of thing um, if you did it that way. So let's click buy here. Um, so we'll go to buy. And how many shares of VYM do you want? So it costs $100 US, so I don't know if I can get one share. We, we actually might not be able to go one share because we actually don't have enough in our account. Let, let's see if this will, or can we go zero point? I wonder if we can go zero point. Let, let's test this out actually. Um, we're gonna actually be able to buy this one because I actually don't have much money in my account. Let's go zero point. Oh, we can't go zero point. Okay, let's try Let's try one, see what it says. None of funds to complete this trade. So let's see if we can do maybe an international one. And I'm gonna have to kinda, I, I forgot about the currency conversion there. So sorry for screwing that up guys. So let's do some research here. Let's see what else we can find. Um, what was the other one? Uh, sorry, guys. Open this up here. Go back to BlueStacks. Let's go VYM. Whoops. And the cool thing about this is we'll be we'll be doing a bunch of different things. So, um, and since we'll be putting a hundred bucks in a month, it you know we can pick and choose things, and it doesn't really matter. Okay, this one's only sixty three. So let's check out this one, and I'm just gonna do some quick little research here. Uh, so we just go V Y M I and you guys can do this when you look up stock ETFs This is a good habit to get into to kind of take a peek at them and this one Says more risk more reward. So it's rated high um, So it's a new ETF actually since inception is 2016. Okay um, Was the last year and you can see in 2000 or 2005. Sorry. It kind of rose up here Got up, got up. So it's not too shabby. It looks okay, but it's actually a new ETF. So this is kind of interesting. Um, and you can see it's got its different um, different portfolio composition here, as well as all these different companies. And you can see here, this one actually has number of stocks, a thousand. So we're buying a thousand stocks. You know what, I'm gonna go with this one. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one looks pretty cool. We can throw a hundred bucks, who cares? And then next time, maybe next week, I'll make sure I have enough to cover the uh, the exchange rates and stuff like that. I totally forgot about that. And once again, this one is done every quarterly, it looks like. Yep. Uh, so let's go with this one. Let's go with an international one. Nice to have some diversification. And um, I'm going to be looking up different ETFs and stuff like that over time to kind of see which ones we want to go into. Um, so yeah, and, and the inception for this one is about 8 to 9%. But again, it, it's only been around for a couple years. So it's it's a little bit more high risk, right? Um, so let's just, we but we can put a hundred bucks in. It's not, if we're putting a hundred bucks a week, we can kind of pick and choose our different ETFs or different stocks kind of thing. So let's go with this one. I'm gonna go back into um, blue stacks here. Let's go VYM and let's buy that guy. Let's go with one. How right, can we get two? Whoops, not 12. No, go back. I don't know how to delete on here. Uh, go there, let's go, what's two? 127, so we can't buy that. Let's, we'll just buy one today. And then next week, what I'll do is I'll kind of, um, we'll, we'll find a way to average things out and stuff like that. Um, so we're actually spending, but this is about 86, uh, this is almost about $100 Canadian anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so confirm purchase of one share of VYM Vanguard International High Dividend Yield ETF. Yep, we'll go with that. This is about $83, so it's, you know, it's pretty close to 100 bucks. We'll make the difference up next week when we um, do this. And every single week, I'll be kind of reviewing this kind of thing. I'll be going over. Um, the different funds we have, we'll, we'll we'll spend our money on some ETFs and stuff like that. We'll go over if we got, you know, our increases and decreases. We'll go over our dividends if we got any kind of thing, and uh, we'll go with that. So that one went through. We have one pending order here. I think the orders take about maybe a day to go through. So you can see here, yeah, it should take about a day to go through, and you can cancel it too. Oh, looks like it's completed actually. That was quick. <laughs> so there we go. We now have our first stock. We bought one share of VYM um, at $63 American. Okay, cool. And uh, that's our first stock that we bought, our first ETF, guys. Pretty excited. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. This is pretty much a little walkthrough. Uh, I, I know I kind of, 
you know, uh, um, this isn't as polished as my other videos, like this kind of stuff. But this is the stuff where we sit down and we talk, and we, and I also want to share advice and different tips I get as well. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I think I'm going to end it here because it's getting a little bit long. Um, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see new updates. I'll be posting them once a week, probably every, I'm not too sure which day yet. We'll probably pick like a, maybe we can pick like a Monday or a Tuesday or something like that. I'm not too sure, but we'll, we'll pick a date and we'll kind of focus on that date. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. And um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for um, joining me today. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments and see you guys later.